With your look around the Air Force, I'm Staff Sergeant Javon Smith. NATO's response force is activated for the first time since its creation. The high readiness forces will take a deterrence and defense role with elements drawn from NATO member nations. U.S. Air Force General Todd Walters, NATO Supreme Allied Commander Europe, released a statement saying the historic moment is in line with the evolving security environment in response to Russia's unprovoked and unjustified invasion of Ukraine. U.S. aircraft and crews are working to enhance NATO's collective defense posture in Europe. The active duty 388th and reserve 419th fighter wings from Hill Air Force Base, Utah, deployed the F-35A Lightning II to the European theater. General Jeff Harigian, commander of Allied Air Command, says the deployment increases the defensive posture of NATO, enhancing the ability to operate together. F-35s from the 48th Fighter Wing from RAF Lake and Heath are flying from Amari Air Base, Estonia, as part of enhanced air policing, and F-16 Fighting Falcons from the 52nd Fighter Wing in Spengdalem, Germany, are at Fetesti Air Base, Romania, to work with allies in the Black Sea region, reinforcing regional security. Allied Air Command's deputy commander says Allied Air Forces are standing shoulder to shoulder to provide a robust, collective defense while delivering constant vigilance across NATO airspace. The U.S. airmen are working alongside Romanian, Spanish, Italian, German, and British fighter crews. Allied Air Command's chief of staff says it's a strong sign of the rock-solid cohesion of the alliance. German Eurofighters are adding to enhanced air policing operations, while the Royal Air Force has Eurofighter Typhoons contributing to airborne patrols as part of Allied Enhanced Vigilance Activity, a NATO-led operation initiated because of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. One RAF commander says they stand ready to defend Europe and the Atlantic region from further aggression. And that's your look around the Air Force.